Hello guys. Uh, in this video, actually, I am going to explain what is a derivative. Okay, and uh, to understand this, let us take a simple practical problem. Suppose if I have a stone in my hand, and if I drop it, okay, and uh, uh, at each time instant, I calculate what is the displacement. I know displacement at every time. Suppose I start when time t equal to zero, and if I plot a curve, okay, this is time, and this is displacement. So I will get a curve like this. Okay, displacement is positive and downward direction. Okay, I will get a curve, a curve like this. Now, in this case, I want to know. So let us see. I want to know what is the velocity at, at this time uh, when the pebble or stone has traveled at uh, a distance of this much and at time t equal to small t time. Now, I want to calculate velocity. Okay. Basically, we know velocity is equal to distance by time. This is basically velocity. Okay. Now, which distance I should take and what time I should take? What I will do is, I will just take, suppose I want to calculate velocity at point A. This is a point B, and first at uh, uh, that time, time was t1. So what I'll do is, I'll take another curve, time t2. Okay, it corresponds to time t2, and I'll move from that curve what is the equation, uh, what is the displacement. And I'll draw a line. Okay, so the slope of a line, what is slope? Slope is delta y by delta x okay so what i get is this delta y is delta displacement delta s and suppose the time between t1 and t2 was delta t it is delta t so this is a slope okay now if i take delta t is sufficiently large so in between that time maybe the velocity might have changed so to know the velocity at exactly that point what i should do is i should try to minimize delta t as small as possible so what will i get is velocity at point a is equal to delta s by delta t provided to get exact velocity to get more precise velocity delta t should almost tends to zero Okay, so basically what I will get is velocity at A is equal to limit delta T tends to 0 that is limit delta T tends to 0 of delta S by delta T is equal to that, that is what I say is that is Ts by dt. This is the formula of velocity and actually this is a time derivative of time derivative of s as is a displacement. Now graphically what we what we understand is if I reduce delta t to zero, if I bring this data, the point t to close and close to t1 such that time between t1 and t2 is zero, what I'll get is this slope of this curve and that curve is tangent. If you don't know what is the tangent, please see my other video. Okay, so this value is tangent. It will be the slope of tangent to curve of S versus T at point A. This is velocity at 
this is a graphical meaning or physical meaning of a derivative. Derivative is the slope of a tangent. And this is how actually we can explain it and it is in a real life problem. Okay. So a, deri uh, a derivative is the slope of a tangent. That's all. Okay. So this is the clear definition or uh, this is uh, a simplified definition of a derivative. And thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you think that I should make a video on some other topics or topic of your interest, please comment. I'll try to make make possible. I'll try to make the video and make that topic as clear as possible. And make a video and share it. Okay, thank you for watching this video.